Good evening viewers and welcome to this week's edition of the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament brought to you by the Book of African Records and of course proudly sponsored by Odd Mutual Zimbabwe. I'm your host Alexio Gwenzi. My name is Nyasha Dube and just in case you missed last week's episodes, here's a quick recap. Vui High School, George Selindika High School, Sarima High School and Ellis Robbins battled it out and Ellis Robbins was the winner. In this week's episode, Fletcher High School, St. Ignatius High School, Zeta P High School and Tinder High School will be participating. Welcome to the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament, hosted by the Book of African Records and proudly sponsored by Old Mutual Zimbabwe. My name is Professor Emmanuel Ngara from the Zimbabwe Council for Higher Education, or Zimche. Assisting me are two adjudicators, Mr. Odin Mabika and Mrs. Cecilia Chinembiri, also from Zimche. Tonight, in Heat 12, of the national finals, we have Fletcher High, St. Ignatius College, ZRP, and Tinde High. I now ask the schools to introduce themselves, starting with Fletcher High. Good evening, Zimbabwe. My name is Denis Kujuna. On my right is going to be Fletcher to the And on my left is Senora Isabella. We are representing Fletcher High School. Good evening, Zimbabwe. I'm Tenda Getia. To my right is Shingra Yoko. To my left is Sanas Wachirapa. We are representing St. Ignatius College. Good evening, Zimbabwe. On my left is Mr. Dawes Chalamuta. On my right is Mr. Tindera Nakwachi. And yours truly is Mr. Janice Chiswanda. We are from Zero PI School. Probably representing the Sunshine City Award. Good evening, Zimbabwe. My name is Ms. Fet Simbarajan Bande. To my right is Kenny Nguenya, and to my left is Soles Mkandi. We are from Tinde High School, representing much more. Thank you, schools, for introducing yourselves. We we'll start with spelling. Question one. Please write down correctly the name of the first African Secretary General of the United Nations. Please write down correctly the name of the first African Secretary General of the United Nations. show your answers yes uh, Zeta P Butros Butros Gali that's the correct answer uh, so the rest of you did not get it correct Kofi Annan was not the first thank you next question please write down correctly the name of the last president of apartheid South Africa please write down correctly the name of the last president of apartheid South Africa. Please show your answers. St. Ignatius F.W. de Klerk and uh, Zeta P. Uh, Frederick de Klerk. I give you full marks. Uh, the first school, Fletcher High, will give you one mark, just de Klerk. Um, Nelson Mandela is not a part of South Africa. Next question. Please write down correctly Johannesburg the largest city in South Africa. Please write down correctly Johannesburg, the largest city in South Africa. Do you saw your answers? I think all got it correct. So you get full marks, all of you. Next question. Please write down correctly Alexandria, the second largest city in Egypt. Please down, write down correctly Alexandria, the second largest city in Egypt.
Please show your answers. I think all got it correct. So you get full marks. The next segment is history and geography. First question. What percentage of Africa is desert? What percentage of Africa is desert? show your answers uh, the answer is 60% so you all got it wrong question 2 what is the name of the largest lake in Africa what is the name of the largest lake in Africa show your answers a well I think I give you full marks um, you just said Victoria that is Tinde high uh, but I hope you understood that it is Lake Victoria okay thank you we we'll give you full marks for that a uh, question three who was the first black chief justice of Zimbabwe who was the first Black Chief Justice of Zimbabwe. <laughs> Can you show your answers? Tinde Hai, do you have an answer? No. Okay. Uh, Enoch Dumbuchena is the correct answer. So, is that happy? No? St. Ignatius. St. Ignatius, sorry. You got it correct. The others got it wrong. We now take a brief commercial break. schools quiz tournament question four in which year was the Birchnow bridge completed in which year was the Birchnow bridge completed please show your answers The answer is 1935. So you all got it wrong. Let's go to the next segment, which is science and nature. First question. Which country developed the world's first system for dividing and measuring time through a 365-day calendar? Which country developed the world's first system for dividing and measuring time through a 365-day calendar. Can you show your answers? <coughs> Yes, you all got it correct. It's ancient Egypt, <coughs> yes. Next question. What is the world's biggest bird? What is the world's biggest bird? Please 
Please show your answers. <coughs> correct is the ostrich. <coughs> you all got it correct? Question three. What is the gestation period of an elephant? What is the gestation period of an elephant? So your answers. <coughs> wow, you are educated. <laughs> Twenty-two months. All correct. Question four. What does the term CPU mean in computer terminology? What does the term CPU mean in computer terminology? So your answers. Yes, central processing unit, you got it correct, all of you. The next section is general knowledge. <clears throat> In the 1920s, Frederick Banting and his colleagues discovered a hormone which helps balance blood sugar levels in diabetes patients and allows them to live no more lives. What is the name of this hormone? Again, Frederick Banting and his colleagues discovered a hormone which helps balance blood sugar <coughs> levels in diabetes patients and allows them to live no more lives. What is the name of this hormone? So your answers? Insulin. Correct, it's insulin. Question two. <laughs> Tuberculosis is not an infectious disease. Is this true or false? Tuberculosis is not an infectious disease. True or false? show your answers okay false 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 uh, the first three that is Fletcher St. Ignatius and ZRP got it correct uh, the uh, answer is false uh, so uh, Tinder high you got it wrong we go to the next question ART stands for antiretroviral therapy ART stands for antiretroviral therapy is this true or false please show your answers True, true, yes, it's true. Next question. South Africa is Africa's biggest diamond producer. <coughs> is this true or false? South Africa is Africa's biggest diamond producer. True or false? show your answers yeah it's false Botswana is the biggest we now take a brief 
commercial break. Welcome back to the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament. We now announce the results of Heat 12 and the results are as follows. Fletcher High 34, St. Ignatius College 39, ZRP 39, Tindy High 30. So St. Ignatius and ZRP, uh, you are a tie uh, and we congratulate you. You are the winners, both of you. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Zimbabwe Schools Quiz Tournament hosted by the Book of African Records and proudly sponsored by Old Mutual Zimbabwe. Join us again next week for the 13th of the National F uh, Finals where we shall be joined by the following schools uh, Musua Tunya, St. Mary's Bite Bridge, Loreto High, and Sizane High. Pleasant watching. Thank you. Wow, what an exciting episode this has been. And this is how the participating school scored this four. It's Tinder High School with 30 points. And sitting on number three, it's Fletcher High School with 34 points. And this week, we don't have an outright winner. It's a tie between ZRP and St. Ignatius on number one with 39 points. Mm -hmm.